Okay, basically I will, I want to make this video is because one of my friends actually asked me about this part and then yeah so I'm going to like I use the video to describe about this one alright okay maybe this is the first video I make about the uh, IGCSE means it's O level yes because in O level their transformation actually they got used like metrics to do the transformation alright so in this part actually it's called calling describing a transformation using a base vector all right so in this video i'm going to make it very short and i only discuss about rotation and then later we still got reflection and last month seal or stretch all right so in this video is only focused on rotation so how are we going to know the metric actually is a rot rotation so first you need to have some basic understanding about identity metrics so identity metric is very dear it's very simple. I want the identity metric in two two times two forms, so it will be one zero zero one. Alright. So what I will do over here is I will break the identity matrix into the two different metrics. It's one zero and zero one. This one we call it base vector. Okay, I will explain later. So let's call this one, let's call this one I. And let's call this one I. Alright, and then I call this one Z. Alright, this is I, this is Z. Alright. Or yeah, you can call call it anything. Or, or maybe I call it A and B. Because I and J, some some students they take the vector already, they will they might feel very confused. Okay. I use A and B. Yeah, you can use I and Z, no problem. Okay. We always we always find a base vector uh, from the identity matrix. Because identity matrix is very easy, remember, it's one zero zero one. Alright, so now you got 1, 0 is A, 0, 1 is B. Alright, then we're going to have a look on the A, B in our diagram. Okay, I draw a cut the same plan. So, this is very simple. If this is Y, this is X, right? I believe you learned about translation already. If you go 1, 0 in translation means what? If you got like 4, 7 in translation, we know 4 actually is moving this direction 4 units 7 is going up 7 units doesn't it alright so now if in translation 1 0 means what mean actually we're moving 1 unit on the x axis and, and then we stop because we, 0 is for y right so I'm going to call my i my a coordinate is over here this one is my a so of course over here is, is just 1 alright over here is 1 alright Where's my B? Okay, I use different color for my B. Maybe it's here. My B is 0, 1. 0, 1 means 0, 1. Going 1, here 1 unit. This is my B. Alright. And then here it will be 0. Obviously, if I want to know the unit, this, is, this one will be 1. And this one will be 1 also. Alright. So far, okay? Okay. So now, if... Now, I want to find what is my metric for ro rotation 90 degree clockwise. Or in IGCSE, sometimes they will call it like rotation positive 90. Okay, because positive mean clockwise, negative mean anti clockwise. Alright, so now we want to find that rotation 90 degree clockwise. Alright, so you're going to see over here. This this one he add the like okay the coordinate here over here will be 10 right. If rotation rotate 90 degree, where is my A go? Okay, you must know. This is one right, so A will go into here. This will be negative one. So my A will rotate 90 degree, go into here. Because this is 90 degree, right? So my A now will be here. This is my new A. I put an A dot here. Alright. Okay. Where will my B go? Okay. My B will rotate 90 degree. And then you go exactly on the A position. This is 90 degree, right? So my new B will on the OA location. Alright. So this one is actually okay you can see actually A is rotating 90 degree to here. 
and B is rotating 90 degree to here. Okay, so what is the new base vector for the A and B? So what is my new base vector for my A and B? All right. Okay, for A, just now we are at a 1, 0, right? Now the new position is what? This one is 0, right? So go go down over here. We Okay, we always read from the 0. So going down this one, we call it what? 0, negative 1. Because 0, negative 1 means from the 0, we're going down one unit, isn't it? Okay, B, what is my new position for the B? My new position for the B previously is like from 0, 1, right? From 0, 1, now he moved into the, here is 1, 0. Right, so, so you can see. So if I combine them together, my metric will be 0, negative 1, 1, 0. So if you see this metric, you know actually it is rotation 90 degree clockwise. Okay, maybe you still feel very hard to understand. Maybe I try to make another example. Actually, it's quite simple. You have to understand how to read the 0, negative 1. 0, negative 1 means actually going down unit, uh, going down for one unit, right? So from 0, you're going down for one unit. So this position actually we call it 0, negative 1. Like 1, 0, 1, 0 is actually going this way for one unit, right? So you can see this is a, this is a position of the new B. Okay, you always like I read the translation from the O. But if you learn about vector, actually it's quite simple. You will, you will obviously you will know zero negative one is a position vector for new A. Alright? Okay, if you are not, then maybe we go to the other example. Okay. So we go to the other example. Let's remove this one to the other side. Alright. Okay. Okay, so when when you want to do this one, you always start from I like identity matrix. Okay, identity matrix we know is 1, 0, 0, 1. So I'm going to break it down into 1, 0 and 0, 1. And then what what is the third step? Third step I'm going to do a diagram. And then I plot my original one. This is y, this is x, right? So 1, 0 is over this side. Okay, let's say this is 1. And then this is 1 also. Alright, so okay, this time we May, maybe we change the name. Okay, we call it I and we call it J. Alright, this I, this J, right? So now my plot it. 1, 0 is here, so my I is over here. And yeah, let me use the different color. Do not want to confuse you. Okay, my J is over here. Alright. Okay, now same thing, but now I want something like rotation. negative 90 or we call it uh, 90 degree anti-clockwise okay so have a look here so if rotate 90 degree first uh, 90 degree anti-clockwise right so from my eye over here no, now my eye have to move on to this position so my new eye will be here so this is the position for my new eye I'm going to put an eye okay this is eye huh? okay I, I love to draw this way All right so my J my J previously is at this position right but now he want to rotate 90 degree anti-clockwise my J will go down so my new J will actually over here this is my new J okay so this is their previous position I previously is a one zero now he going up already so my new i my new i now this position will be the j position right so it'll be zero one and then my new j my new j previously at zero uh at zero one isn't it so now he going downwards this one obviously is negative one so this one this position we call what from center right so we call it zero negative one do you see this one? This one is zip. Oh, sorry. We have to move x first, then we need move y. This is wrong. So it will be negative 1 and 0. So my 
matrix for rotation negative 90 or rotation 90 degree anti-clockwise will be 0, 1, negative 1, 0. That's all. So, of course, you need to understand the diagram. If you couldn't understand the diagram, uh, how actually the vector going, then it will be quite hard for you. Alright. So, of course, you can use the memorized method, but I don't like to use the memorized methods because somehow if the metric change already, may maybe you feel a, bit, a little bit confused. Alright. Let's see 180 or 270. Alright. So, okay. So now, you... I hope you can like familiar with the base vector. Okay, I call, I, maybe I call it x and y. So this one is always 1, 0 and 0, 1. This one is fixed already. This one, this two is a fixed already one. It's always it is this way, all right? So we, maybe I make the diagram bigger. So here will be, here will be my, okay, here will be my x and here will be my y. So this one is 1 and 1. This is y, this is x. All right, so I, I do a cross. La. It's better than I do a dot, I believe. Okay, so I call this one x. Oh my god, x and x actually were confused. Uh, maybe we call it x1 and y1. Okay, x1. All right. And this one, I will call it y1. Okay. What about now? We do the rotation. 180 degrees. 180 degree actually for clockwise or anti-clockwise actually is the same. So positive and negative actually is the same. Alright, so now you imagine X. X if I rotate 180 degree clockwise or anti-clockwise, I will go into this position, isn't it? I will turn from here to here or from here to here. So you go in the same position. So my know my new X. I new X I'm going to call X2, huh? just not to confuse you. So my X2 is over here. What is the coordinate over here? It should be. Because here is one unit, right? So this is negative one. Okay, my y will from here go into here, right? So my y2 will, will be here. Y2. So my if my y2 will be here, the coordinate over here will be negative one also. Because here is one. So my same distance, right? When you do the rot rotation. So of course I need to know this is center point, right? So I have to know what is the uh, what is the translation or you call it vector for y2. So this one is from zero, you go down one unit, we will call it zero, negative one. This one is from zero, you go to negative one, but then it doesn't move into the y, doesn't it? So this one we call it zero, negative one. Ah, uh, sorry, I always make the mistake. You move the x first, right? Move the x first, so it will be negative one, zero. Alright, so my rotation 180 degree. So you just combine them. X first, then only Y. Eh? So you just when you combine them, it's very simple. It's negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. So this one is 180 degree. So 270 degree actually is simple also. Okay, let's say, let's say. Okay, rotation. I, I write a short form my negative 270. Alright, where's my base vector? My base vector will be here. Okay, this, this time I call A and B is easier. Okay, A. And then my position vector for B will be over here. Okay, and then obviously this is X and Y. And this is 0. Alright, so now, anti clockwise 270. 270 will, will be this way. So, okay. I can change the B first, it doesn't matter. So you can imagine 90 degree, 180, 270. So actually B, the new B will stop at the A position. Alright, and then A, rotate, rotate 270, 90, 180, 270. So the A will actually stop here, the new A. I call it A1. So we have to know what is our position for this one. Okay, for A1, this one is actually negative one, right? So from here he go he going downwards, going downwards. This one is called what? Zero, negative one. And then for my B, this is for A, yeah. Okay, for my new B, this one actually is positive, right? One, zero. All right. So this one, the metric, I always read from A first. So it'll be zero, negative one, one, zero. So this one will be 
rotation uh, anti-clockwise 270 all right actually this one is not really hard but then you need to understand about the topics then only you will know how to solve this kind of question so for example let's assume you understand if you are not understand yeah you always welcome to post any comments to me if let's say you understand already so so you can always like uh, find some example and then you're trying to do it yourself so for example if the question asks what is this matrix represent is this rotation reflection or yeah you have to describe the transformation uh. so you have to describe the transformation the question asks what is this so you're going to find out what is this so how are we going to find out what is this so first we will draw the base vector first okay my base vector is always in the same position okay so I'm going to do my base vector okay this one will be let's say I call it A and then here will be B alright okay this one this one we know this is 1 0 and this one we know is 0 1 alright now this one is the new A and this one is the new B so I'm going to say this one is the new A and then this one is the new B alright so new A will go into the 0 negative 1 0 is x x it doesn't move but 1 is the y alright so the new A actually we know the new A is over here is at the a is at the b position and then my new b where will my new b go will be negative one zero so negative one zero will be here this is my new b all right so if my new b is here you can see my a actually rotate from here to here and then my b actually rotate from here to here and then how many degree they rotate you can always see on the center this is 90 degree isn't it so it's 90 degree anti-clockwise so what is this metric called rotation negative 90 or you can say rotation uh, rotation 90 degree anti-clockwise at the center 0 0 0 0 or somehow they will say at the center of origin it's the same thing or this one okay you can say it's origin right so I hope this video can make you like differentiate how to differentiate the rotation for or 90 clockwise anti clockwise or positive 90 negative 90 or 180 or even 270 of course you have to understand what is the base vector because X and Y or A and B is always in the same position then if, you, if the question asks you to rotate you just rotate this one like 180 you you go this way, doesn't it? So 180 degrees go this way. Then you have to find out what is the translation from for this one. If you always start from the O, if I always start from zero. So we know going down one unit from the zero, the translation we will call it zero negative one. Okay, so so then this one from here you go this way, doesn't it? So we will call it negative one zero. So okay, if you if you can understand a translation, you can use the translation method to like understand this one if not you can use the vector method also because but the vector is about position vector huh? right anyways if you got any question about this video just let me know i hope this video do help you thanks for watching